Good morning. Today we're making tinga. Uh, the tinga is made of many different uh, things. It could be made out of beef, chicken, pork. Uh, I prefer pork and this is what we're making today. Every time I cook pork, this is the spices I add. I add um, bay leaf, clove, black pepper, garlic, and an onion. I'm going to throw that in the pot and we're going to cook the meat uh, for about an hour, cover in water and, and add some salt and that would be it. Then we just wait. But now we have the meat here already cut in pieces. I'm going to add all the stuff in there. You don't have to worry about anything. This is just to flavor the, the meat. Here are the ingredients we're using today. We're using Roma tomatoes, brown onions. Yep, lots of brown onions. If you don't like onions, you probably won't like tinga. Uh, you are using about a quarter against uh, three quarters of meat when you make tinga, so it's a lot of onion. Hopefully you like them as much as we do. You also will need some chipotle in adobo sauce, uh, maybe some cumin and some chicken bouillon, some salt. Also, we got the tostadas. We already are cooking the beans. We're gonna spread those beans over the tostadas, add the meat in the in the sauce, and then top it with sour cream. So that's about it. Let's uh, wait for the girls to get here so we can put it all together for you. Okay, time to check the meat. It's an hour and a half later. See how, okay, seems like it can fall apart already. So I think it's time for us to start shredding these, but it might need another 15 minutes because the middle still feels hard. I just put the knife through it and it's still, it's tough. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take off the little stem of the tomatoes. I'm gonna put them in here so they cook in the broth and you don't waste no more uh, pots cleaning or whatever and they get the flavor from the meat that is cooking. So that's gonna be one step that we can do right now. Another thing we got to do is get the beans blended. They're nice and hot. We're gonna put them in the blender because we're gonna spread these over the tostadas. So you already know how to cook beans, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just like make sure they're nice and... I like That's everything good. fresh. That's why, um, you know, things turn out better, I think. Just add that much for now. And we're gonna just blend them. They already pre-seasoned, they got the salt and everything. And that's all you need to do. So if you think they're too watery, because they got to spread over the tostadas, like let's check for consistency. I think they are a little, a little watery. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some out. And this time I'm gonna add some beans without the juice. So you got to Make sure they're not too watery because then, you know, they're just gonna be messy and not that much flavor. You need them to stick to the tostada. We're gonna open them up. Just gonna make them a little thicker. Yep. They look a little better. Do you see how yeah, now the consistency is thicker? That's what we want. They're pretty hot, so that's why it's so hard to open this thing. Look at that. You see oh, yeah. how it changed? That's yeah. that's more or less what you want to see. And we just got them ready to put them on the side. That would be the first thing you put to your tostada before you add the meat. Now we're gonna just uh, get those tomatoes prepared then we're gonna put them in here all right we're gonna cook the tomatoes um, you can start putting them in there they're gonna cook super quick you probably you need like 10 minutes in the pot making them a lot of sauce so that's probably the easiest way just throw them in there and then we're gonna take them out and blend them with the chipotles mm. that's about it not too complicated 10 minutes, we're gonna come back and uh, blend them in. Okay, so this is gonna require a lot of onion. We have four 
uh, cleaned and face down, cut in half. Now we're just gonna make slices like that. Get them all done. And then we're gonna fry them and uh, add them to the sauce. The tomatoes are almost there. You can see the skins are peeling off. Mm -hmm. You see that? Now we're gonna just leave them until we cook the, the onions. And I told you, you must like onions for mm -hmm. this recipe. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> to check how much onion we're gonna be adding to the meat. It looks like a lot, but they're gonna be reduced. And then when you add that much meat, mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be a, a good portion. So we're gonna add some oil. That would be corn oil. Just enough to fry all those onions. Just to cook the onions. So check more or less how much you're mm -hmm. now. You can sizzling. tell it's sizzling. Now it's time for you to add the rest of that. Well, you can just dump them in there. there. Yeah. Okay. Now just move them around. Probably like for 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. It takes a while for them to get soft. Constantly. Yeah. Eh, you know, you don't have to like constantly, but once in a while, just move them around so they cook uh, all at the same time. Meanwhile, I'm going to start taking these tomatoes off out, and I'm going to blend them for me to be ready when you are. Okay. All right? So we're fishing out the garlic, the entire thing that I took and put in there, and it's already cooked. I'm going to use some of these in the sauce. Just take out some of the, the garlic, nice and, and sweet, cooked garlic, and just about three or four because it's already cooked so it's less pungent and you're gonna be okay there you go that's about four cloves of garlic cooked i'm gonna just um throw back in i just needed to use some of that and keep on blending the tomatoes until we're done you can uh, move your onions and like we're getting there Perfect. Right, we're gonna add the cumin on this one and some of the chicken bouillon. We're gonna be using some of that uh, broth too, but I like to, to add some of the cumin right now. I'm gonna use like probably four or five. It's a lot of sauce, so we need to spice it up. And we keep on adding the tomatoes that we still got. Hot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> that one's gonna stay there. I'm not gonna use that one. Yeah, I think it's that's a better tool to take yeah. that one out. You can throw it in there for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yep, perfect. Now we're gonna take the last batch. So I'm ready for you. You're nice. looking good. Looks good? Yep. Try it uh, for for how spicy it is, and if we need salt or anything else. But check these fatty. Look, see, they don't look like so many anymore. They shrink quite a lot. Now we just gotta get the meat. Um, check the meat to see if it's done. Yeah, falling apart now. So we're ready on that one. Continue 
a little bit more until you see some brown spots. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once they start browning, we're gonna add the sauce and wait for the meat. I okay. wanna brown the meat a little bit mm -hmm. so it gets more flavor. So mm -hmm. now in here, I'm gonna make it on on this pan. Oh, That's okay. what we're proud of. Cast iron. Yeah, the cast iron. So it gets a little uh, frying flavor. But um, just continue working on these for another five, five more minutes. Mm -hmm. And then we'll add the sauce. Okay. So I think you're ready for the sauce. They're nice and soft. Mm -hmm. Now we can just, if you can, just uh, dump Put it all in there. In. Yep. Yep. All right, so like I told you, you don't have to cook it, uh, brown every single little piece. But we have enough there to change the flavor from just boiled meat to brown fried meat. And you notice I didn't add too much uh, oil or anything. It's just the meat with this uh, with the pan. Its own fat kind of helps it fry and get nice and golden. So I think um, at this point we're gonna be just adding the, the sauce. Sauce is nice and hot. I'm gonna just dump it all in here. And we're gonna mix it. How does it smell, huh? It smells delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm sure you're going to be able to make this one because it's simple. It's not mm -hmm. that hard to make. Not too many ingredients, uh, just a basic tomato and onions, a few spices, and you can make something like this. And um, a lot of people use this for potlucks because um, it reheats well. You can just throw in a crock pot mm -hmm. and bring it to work, make tostadas, it reheats well. It tastes even better the next day. So I totally recommend you learn how to make it and just share with your friends and uh, you can tell it's a little dry. So we're going to use some of this uh, broth to give it more flavor and clean our pot. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get some of this juice and just strain it so I don't have a full peppercorn or anything, a piece of onion or anything in here. I'm going to strain it. And throw it in the, in the pot. I'm uh, washing our pot already, making the dishwashing a lot easier. You see, all this broth, we're gonna just dump it in here. So we're probably gonna let this cook like for 10 minutes once you add the sauce. Everything's already cooked, so what we one two is for them to to flavor everything together. We're gonna always add, um, not add salt, but you're gonna try it for salt. Right now is a good time. Mm, we don't need anything. Very good. You don't even remember you have that many onions because they're sweet. It's like pulled pork, like a barbecue almost. I'm <laughs> not with the spiciness of the um, chipotles and the sauce is just amazing. I hope you can give it a try and you let us know how it went for you. I know you're gonna be cooking it soon. So we're gonna just wait for Patty to get back so we can serve them, add some sour cream and enjoy them. Thanks, thanks for uh, spending some time with us and um, until next time. All right, this is done. Time to eat. So what you do, you can always throw this in the microwave for like a few seconds mm -hmm. to just bring it back to life. Mm -hmm. But right now we're not gonna do that because <laughs> we just wanna eat. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so you add some of the, the beans. Mm -hmm. Remember we didn't fry them or do anything, we just blend them. them. Yeah, after we just cooked them, they were nice and warm from mm -hmm. this morning. And once you do that, you're, you're gonna add some of the meat. 
there's no avoiding the onions on these because <laughs> there's so many of them. Um, we just pile it up, try to get some of that juice. But it, this, is a, this is messy. Mm -hmm. There's no easy way to eat them. And then you just add like a, whatever amount of cream you want. For me, I like to add some of this sauce because I need more spice. But for you, I think the spice <laughs> we have in there is already plenty. You can always add more. But that would be it. So it's watering. <laughs> so we're ready to eat. Uh, join us next time to make something else. Um, have a nice rest of the day.